in this video we will solve problem 1 so in this video i did not come here to teach you the dimension analysis i came here to tell you that how can we derive this expression so how can we derive bore radius this will be the main objective of this video so it's very easy problem if we see the problem we just have to see dimensions but we will see how to derive it let's get started so to prove bore radius you have to know bore postulates the first postulate is that is same as rutherford model that is the electron revolves in a circular orbit under the influence of coulomb attraction so if this is the nucleus let's say that is zd an electron is revolving in a circular orbit let's say this is electron and let us assume this is a r so the first postulate says it is under the influence of coulomb attraction so we can write the force f is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not z e e over r square and that should be equal to mb square upon r that is the same as rutherford model and this is the postulate one let's say p1 postulate one and now the postulate two is the postulate two is a quantization postulates quantization quantization postulates in this board said the angular momentum is quantized as l vector is equal to n h bar where h bar is reduced planck constant and this is h upon 2 pi and n can be 1 2 3 and so on so this is the p2 that is postulate number 2 and in postulate 3 it is it is state that there will not be any radiation when they are rotating in this stationary orbit that means the total energy remains constant when it is moving in the same orbit so energy remains constant that is p3 and the postulate number 4 is electromagnetic radiation is emitted if an electron changes its orbit so let's say it is in orbit in some orbit and it changes its orbit it bent to its orbit 2 and initially it was in 1 so let's say it is initial and it is final then the energy that will be emitted is ef minus ei is equal to h nu and this is a p4 this is postulate number 4 then we know that l vector is equal to mv r is equal to nh bar so mv r is equal to nh bar now using these equations we can prove and we can show that r is equal to n square h square epsilon not over pi m z e square now for hydrogen atom z is equal to 1 and for n is equal to 1 R is equal to a not that is h square epsilon not over pi m e square. So this is the formula, and we can derive using 
both postulates and to show the dimension what you can do you can find out the dimension of epsilon not and the dimension of h bar or h is same as angular momentum and pi is a dimensionless and m is a mass and the dimension of mass is m that is m and for electron you can put the dimension of electron that is charge so by putting these dimensions you can see this is the dimension of length thank you